Okay, everyone. Um, this is me attempting to make a video explaining what the MACD is. So uh, bear with me, y'all. Uh, I saw in one of my uh, other videos there's a comment saying, "Hey, why don't you explain what the MACD is?" So here, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, guys, this just happened! Holy, oh my goodness! Oh my god, guys. Okay, this is like I'm not gonna lie. This is like my third attempt <laughs> recording this video because I don't like the way I explain what the MACD is in my other videos. But guys, something very significant just happened oh my god this is actually crazy news i'm gonna text messing <laughs> for those of you who don't know messing is uh is the guy who who do, runs this uh channel with me <laughs> holy okay i by the way guys i'm doing my best not to swear uh, my my dad saw one of my other videos and was like you said fuck in all my years of watching videos i've never heard someone say fuck so now i'm gonna try not to swear but something crazy just happened guys so i can't help it holy fuck guys okay so i'm gonna <laughs> This is going to be kind of a quick and dirty explanation of what the MACD is. This is not going to be the most nuanced, in depth, nuanced, in depth uh, explanation of MACD, um, but I'm going to do my best to explain it to the best of my abilities and knowledge. And also, uh, I'll talk about why I kind of just freaked out there because something. Oh, this is a big deal, guys. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to delve into this all. So um, we are looking at a. Let me just check to see if I'm recording because I've done this where I start talking for like minutes and minutes and wasn't recording i'm recording so okay okay i'll, I'll, I'll calm down here guys because i'm very excited it's very interesting just happened ah okay i can't control okay okay i'm i'm calm so macd um what the macd stands for it stands for the moving average convergence divergence indicator what it does is that it shows us uh momentum and reversals okay easy enough so Let's uh, take a look. This whole thing here is the MACD. Now, the MACD is composed of different things that I will now explain. So, um, if we take a look here at these lines, we see a blue line and a yellow line. The blue line is what's called the MACD line, and the yellow line is the signal line, okay? And these green and red bars all together uh, are called the histogram. Now, all together, this entire thing is the MACD. So, um, with that being said, let's take a look here at what the MACD uh, does and how it's used by traders uh, such as me. Um, and I'll kind of talk about why I just got all excited there at the beginning of this video because something very, very interesting just happened. So, oh, guys, I'm so excited. Okay. Um, so, what the MACD kind of is is how, like I mentioned before, it meant it shows us uh, the momentum of price action and it kind of shows us uh, reversals in, in trends. And the way it kind of shows us that is uh, twofold by the moving averages here and the histogram here. So uh, let me start off by explaining what these moving averages are. I'm not going to delve into how they're calculated because I believe what's relevant is uh, why they're significant, how they're significant, how they're used. Um, so I'll now explain that. So um, these moving averages uh, kind of just show us momentum in price action, okay? And whenever there is a crossover event, so whenever these two moving average lines cross over each other, that is very significant because that typically indicates a reversal in price uh, trend. Uh, again, uh, also, the uh, whenever there is a reversal on what's called the histogram here, these uh, the, when, when there's uh, these green bars, red bars, this is all the histogram. So if we, uh, let me zoom out here. Um, so we're taking a look at the price of Bitcoin. This is the daily chart. We see that things are kind of going sideways and it, the price action starts to move up and it kind of goes sideways again and it recently crashed and it's been going sideways ever since. Um, and that is reflected within the MACD. So we see as price uh, action is moving upwards, we see our moving averages uh, continue to move upwards and our histogram moves upwards as well. And whenever we have a crossover event on our moving averages and we have a reversal on the histogram, these things indicate a reversal in the trend or in the trend of the price action. So the trend was moving upwards when we had this reversal here. Uh, the trend, oh, sorry, yeah, when we had this uh, crossover event here and this reversal on the histogram, that signaled a reversal 
in the trend of the price from upward to downward. Okay, guys, so um, let us take a look at what is happening right now. I just got all excited. So um, how do how do I delve into this? So um, very recently, uh, Bitcoin has been experiencing downward uh, movement in the price action, and we have found support at around the $10,000 level. Now, as of late, we have seen to be moving upward here. So the price seems to be going up. And if we take a look here down at our MACD, we see that the price that uh, our, that the MACD was showing that Bitcoin was very oversold. We can see how whenever price or whenever the histogram takes into the red, that is showing us that it's oversold. Okay. And we see here that the histogram was showing us that it was, we were very much in the red, very much in the oversold range and not only that, but the, uh, our moving average lines here were below this, uh, this zero point here. So everything was in the negative. It was telling us momentum is, is very much down and that, um, the market is very bearish and that things are very oversold. But interestingly, if we take a look here, um, things went from oversold, but they started to move up. They started to move up. And we take a look here at our moving average lines. They were in the uh, they were in the red. They were down, but we had a crossover event. And only that, if we took a look here at the histogram, things went from into the red into the green. And why this is so significant, so exciting, is because we're taking a look at a daily chart. So this is very zoomed out, guys. So whenever we see something like this, where we're very much in the oversold region, and then both on the histogram and on our moving average lines, and we have a reversal, or sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I always get these mixed up. And we have a crossover on our uh, moving average lines here and a reversal on our histogram here from the red to the green. Guys, that is very significant because what that tells us is that there was a reversal in the trend of the price action from downwards now into an uptrend, so into the green. Now, guys, so the MACD isn't the end-all be-all. This is just one indicator. Um, we can't tell the future with this. There are many things that influence the price action of any given security, whether it's a stock or cryptocurrency. There are many things that affect it. So this is just one thing to keep in mind, guys. So for, for example, for Bitcoin, it's very influenced by what's going on in the stock market. So just because the MACD is showing uh, some possibility of upward momentum, uh, you know, that that's not the end all be all the stock market go to shit tomorrow and this could crash. So just keep that in mind, guys. We, we And also, we don't just use any one indicator. We want to use many different indicators to help kind of give us a picture of what's going on. The more indicators you use, um, you know, uh, you don't want to have to use like a thousand indicators. What I'm saying is that indicators uh, help you build an understanding of, uh, of likelihoods and probabilities, guys, uh, not certainties. So in the trading world, we don't deal in certainties. We deal in likelihoods and probabilities. So the reason why I just got <laughs> uh, so excited here was... Um, because, uh, we're on the daily chart and this candle just finished forming, like literally as I was recording this, if closed in the green and significantly so above this previous red candle, uh, the reason why I got so excited is because that shows bullish momentum that shows that, uh, buying power is increasing, that the price is likely going to continue to go up. Now, is this a guarantee? No. This could be a fake out. This could be a, a very momentary uptrend. And we may possibly see in the uh, near future here a reversal in our indicators and in price action. And we may continue to go down. So there's no guarantee that this recent uh, bullish uh, reversal here will be long lived. Um, but with that being said, this is overall uh, good news for the upward uh, price action of Bitcoin. Um and again, why I got so excited is because Bitcoin is the largest cryptocurrency in the world and it affects the price of all other cryptocurrencies. And when Bitcoin tanks, uh, the rest of the uh, altcoin market tanks and I have money in a bunch of cryptocurrencies right now. So when Bitcoin does well, all my other holdings do well. Um, that, that isn't always necessarily the case, but there's a high correlation between the success of Bitcoin and the, su and the success of much of the altcoin market. So uh, that's why I got so excited, guys, because right now the um, price uh, direction of Bitcoin is uh, very unsure and a, uh, a a candle closing 
uh, in the green like this is is very good news. Now, guys, um, you know how, the, how long live this uptrend will be. We don't know. We could see, you know, it could go up a bit, hit this resistance level and go back to. OK, now I'm, I'm delving into other technical analysis. I, I want to just make this video uh, just be about what the MACD is and kind of how it's used. So, um, like I said, uh, this right here, we had a crossover on the our moving averages here and a reversal in the momentum of the histogram. So what this signals, what this tells me is that we just uh, we are entering into a bullish uh, upward trend. OK, guys, so it's important to keep in mind that this right here, this green uptick does not have to look like something like here where we have a long upward uh, price movement. You know, it could be a short lived fake out where we slightly go up into the green and then go back down. Um, so, yeah, this is these are all just things to keep in mind, guys. This, like I said before, this is not going to be the most in depth uh, video out there. I just want to kind of, you know, do something quick and dirty to give you guys kind of an understanding of what this is and how it's used. So that's uh, that's it for now, guys. I'll leave it at that. If you guys could please uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. I'd really appreciate it. it. Helps out the channel. So take care, guys.